So friends, we're on South Cooper, and you can see the cross street is Cowden, right here. And something incredible happened right here in this building. The address is 629 South Cooper. And this was the location of Allied Photographic Illustrators, and they did a photo shoot here for a local furniture manufacturer called Hungerford Furniture, and you can see them right here. They manufactured furniture in Memphis. This building was where these photographs were shot for Hungerford Furniture for that specific furniture campaign, and it never came to fruition because after this campaign was shot, the higher-ups at Hungerford decided that the average Elvis fan could not afford Hungerford Furniture, so they canceled it. And you can see it's a nice looking brick building. It's actually a chiropractic office now, and the chiropractor in there is going to allow us to go in and film. So come with, friends. And you can see it's an area in Midtown where they've repurposed some of the buildings and that kind of stuff, and it's being kind of fixed back up and reused. Have an Airbnb right around the corner. And it's actually down Cowden, not on Cowden right around there, but it's right around the edge right there where we're staying. So now we're going to go in and take a little look-see and just keep in mind that during the time that this was shot, Elvis would have walked right through this actual door right here into this actual building. So come on in. Let's take a look. This is 629 South Cooper. So friends, this building right here, of course, it's been renovated a bunch of times in 60 years, but this was where those photos were shot at in this, in this building. And I found a, a shot of Elvis with a lady that I think may be back here. We're gonna to try to line this up. You see this and you see how wide those door jams are. And it could have been another part, but it looks like that right there to me. And you can even see the width of the of the wood it looks like they're standing in front of that door frame right there hey guys if you're in town you'd like to get checked by you know the greatest chiropractor in the world from the greatest musician in the world you know this this is the right place to do stop by the adjustatorium we'd love to meet you hear your story i think it'd be awesome um if you guys ever need anything let me know you even want to just see the door swing on by and let's do it this would be great Anything we can do to get information out there to you guys. There you go. So friends, you heard it here first. It happened in this building right here. And if you're in town, you need an adjustment, just stop by and see the doc right here. Tighten up every chance you get. But he's going to loosen you up. That's right. From one king to the next. There you go. <laughs>
Old uh, South Cooper yes, in that building. That's correct. Incredible. That is amazing. And, um, and then my dad ended up getting a bedroom suit, and like I said earlier, mm -hmm. and uh, we just held on to it. And your daughter has it. Yeah. That's incredible history, man. Yeah. That's amazing. So. The Hungerford sales manager saw the rock profiteers squatting in front of their product in a paint by numbers oil. <laughs> they nixed the idea. <laughs> Teenage girls. Oh, paint by numbers yeah. oil. Mm-hmm. This is something about Love Me Tender Lipstick for Mahogany Bureaus. Nor would parents be eager to purchase a bedroom suit recommended by a swivel-hipped sex symbol. Well, <laughs> I think the biggest problem was is that it was priced too high for right. somebody that could afford a bedroom suit. And so, therefore, it was basically a flop. That's interesting. I don't know how many Hungerford made, but... Uh, there's got to be some out there. It's gonna good, be a good idea. I mean, I've got another shot. Let me see. And the Elvis stuff was cheap. At you know, those boat shoes were two ninety nine. Yeah, you know, well, at that, that time. And of course, I guess two ninety nine was probably a lot of money at that time. Yeah, you know, you're looking at, at wanting to do uh, quantity. Yeah. That's that's. Uh, let's see. I haven't been by where Hungerford is yet, but I'm definitely going to go. So you've worked on a lot of films. Yes, I have. I see Elvis the series, The Firm. Yep. Uh, yeah, we did, and back in our, in this, we have a 4,000 square foot sound stage, and in that, uh, Hustle and Flow built their music room. And they shot here for eight days. Really? Yeah, and then I, I shot second camera for them and, and went around as they went around the city. But that was that was an incredible bonus for Memphis. I mean, when and then of course they did very well with winning a Grammy for the music. And it's been, uh, you know. You cook ribs? I do. Yeah, I saw you won some rib championships. Third place in Memphis in May. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's coming up again. So here's the shot that was in the book. Uh, and let's see. There's another shot that, that's in the book. Another shot, I guess. There were, those are the three shots that were in there. Maybe that may have been one. But there's the... There's the whole suit. Yeah, right there. Shot which we documented. So your daughter would have the, it, so that's the bedroom suit right yes. there. Yeah, that's what they had. She had that whole thing. Yeah. That is incredible. Well, she may not have this. This this may still be sitting up on the balcony in the back. The headboard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I was letting her have it until such time we either found somebody that wanted to buy it. Yeah, well, it's, it's valuable. It, well, I, I don't doubt that it would go for some serious well, money. Graceland, Graceland suggested to put it on the auction block, and I said, no. I'm yeah, well, they're going to take a big hit yeah. then. They're going to take a big percentage of it. And, uh, and, and they know about it. They, uh, they could someday. So is it okay if I tell people that it's for sale? I don't see why not. Okay. Yeah. Because, you know, all my subscribers are Elvis people. Yeah. So there may be somebody in there that would be... Would like to sleep where Absolutely. Is. Hey, they, they, <laughs> they'll pay big money. And that's uh, Dr. Black that I was talking about was interested in uh, selling his gun. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, he said that, that, you know, he's had it for, what, 50 years now. He's over it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and so the money would be... Uh, would be a positive uh, thing for sure. Do you think we could see that headboard if it's here? Yeah. So we'll walk on back here. It's a Photoshop room. Of course, we started in the still photography and we have black and white and color processing rooms, which are, of course are not used anymore. 
So you have the dark room that you walk around the corner. Yeah, I do. And, uh -huh. and so it uh, stays dark. Yeah. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. and this That's is, old school. This is Studio A. Which, uh, was This is where the studio was built in 1970. And everything forward to the front door is a part of that structure original so this is the original room well no well it's the original part of the studio that was built okay. in 70 and then i'm going to take you back in the area that okay which i built in 84. was hustle and flow in this room yeah. or it's in the next room yeah this is high high dollar stuff real movie cameras and stuff there's, there's dressing rooms Clark Gable. Oh yeah. I actually uh, filmed a story on Clark Gable and Carol Lombard yeah. out in uh, in Las Vegas, where Carol airplane flew into the mountain. I'm just gonna take you in a little circle here. Yes, this. sir. This, this is uh, the green room. Green room. This is very cool. Pinball machine and everything. Yeah. And uh, they used uh, Hustle and Flow used this as a screening room. And then they brought in a tent out in the parking lot for, to feed everybody and use the other studio to set up production. So they would see the dailies in here. That's right. Very cool. You won a lot of barbecue trophies. Yeah, well, we've had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> you had a stack of them back there. Robert Duvall with the family thing. We got to shoot the, shot the last shot. And we sat down and ate catfish. And he was getting ready to go to the Apostle which was his personal film. Wow. Yep. And this you? Yeah, that's me and my dad. Incredible. And there's my brother, he came, he was out of, lived up in New York and came back for a short while, but we lost him in the 90s. I'm sorry. And Dick Van Patten, Train Station, that was the first music video I did for the Duncan Sisters. Now where was this filmed at? In the train, Memphis train station. Wow. I see it says Central Station up yeah. there. That's beautiful. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're new to this channel, Adventures of the Spy Guy, I have more than 600 Elvis videos. And don't forget to check out my sidekick, Globetrotting with Trey. He has over 150. And we both focus on true Elvis stories and what really happened. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.